Good lord. You wear your hair down one time, two days in a row, and your hair is everywhere. It's everywhere. If you ever go on a date and you're nervous about something happening, you being brought to a second location, something sketchy, something like, hey, emergency contact. I mean, wear your hair down. Your DNA will be all over that place. Don't be going on dates with your hair up in a bun. No, no, no. Don't tuck it away. Get your DNA flowing. Let that shit flow. I forgot something. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, where am I? Wisconsin. Location? None ya. As in, none ya business. Undisclosed. Oh, the dog hair is everywhere. These should be today's song life. Oh, shine bright, shine bright. Be a star where you live, where you are. Be a star. Bum, bum, bum. I don't know what the words are to that song. I don't want to talk about why there's a table in the back of the car. That you never know when you need a table. I'm in Wisconsin, but I am near, dear, that rhymes, and uh, a Walmart. <laughs> I always wear those men's Hawaiian shirts as like a throw on for whatever. I found two more designs. I really like the orange pinkish purple in this one. It kind of feels like I could have worn this for the Cuban Never Have I Ever video. That one's fun. Or this, look this one. This one gives me like Sopranos on vacation vibes. It's more like a peachy something. It looks really pink on there, but it's not. If you like these, or would I wear those? I've said it before. They're no boundaries, except they're rebranding them as Eco Vero Lensing. I don't think that is. Fibers are derived from responsibly managed forests. I've never seen that on a tag before. They run like $13. Put them out around like the summer every year, and then the ones that they don't sell, they're always around. <laughs> so I don't know if these are new or old. I guess this could go. Now that you've seen them. <laughs> okay, but I'm in Wisconsin hanging out. Um, and unfortunately, I still need access to the Wi Fi, the Wi Fi. Even when I'm I'm not working. I'm working. I got to send some emails. I got to send some scripts to get over to get approved. And I have to email myself for another video that I'm doing. I have to email myself some notes, which I can't do. So I'm bringing, I'm going to a coffee shop that I found in town. The building that it's located in, it's a hundred year old building and it used to be a morgue or a funeral home. That's fun. Coffee might be the death of me, actually. Should I check the mailbox? There's a mailbox at the end of the driveway. I've never had to drive down to get my mail. Let me check it. I will pose all the questions to, to the car and hopefully we get it done. Not enough people are. Nothing, and which is good, because that means no, no bills, no exes writing me love letters, no one inquiring about nothing. I've heard some people talk how they don't open their mail for like months. There's a paper trail and it leads to you and everything's sealed up. I'm from the belief you gotta open your mail. But I guess like, if you can't see it, there's no harm. What? Yeah, but if the FBI comes to your house and they see the mail sitting on your counter, that's just as bad. I think, I don't know, I don't know anything about avoiding the mail. I mean, I open stuff on camera, so I don't. <laughs> but we're on the move. I think this coffee shop will let me sit in there. It looks like they have one table to sit at. I'm gonna see if they have Wi-Fi. otherwise you have to go to the library to send this. And then I wanna go to the thrift store and see if I could find anything. Wisconsin always has the best thrift stores compared to Illinois. Maybe just cause I'm in the suburbs and everything people are getting rid of in the suburbs is stuff I've also gotten rid of or I'm still holding on to because got those beanie babies from the nineties will be worth something one day. I promise you that. <laughs> I thought I got rid of most of them but there's a bag of them somewhere. Just like the little beads and the beanie babies are loose. There's always a loose beanie baby rolling around somewhere. I also don't want to toot my own horn and this really isn't tooting my own horn. Uh -uh. If you had your own horn, what would it sound like? That just popped into my head. We know mine would be an air horn. But like, what's, would you be like a one, like a trucker horn? Uh -uh. Would you be like a fun, like, uh -uh. would you not have a horn? Would you have a bell? Ding, ding, like on a bike. The buzzer at a basketball game. Uh -uh. That one, who knows? What would it be? Comment down below. I'm glad we got that out of the way. And, and this is the after snaps. We're crossing a lake on both sides. The after snaps, the after thoughts of the week and the snapshot of my life right now. We're in another state, we're traveling. I wanted to do an after snaps since I'm on the road. Cause one, I guess I can't relax. And two, I mean, I'm out and about. What was he talking about before though? I can't remember someone backtrack us before the horn thing. Lost it, lost it. We we're talking about Beanie Babies and we we're talking about horns. Beanie Babies, worth something. <gasps> Thrift stores? Oh, I don't want to toot my own horn. That's what it was. I feel like I woke up, huh, maybe just in a different environment. I was like, ah. Oh feel pretty good. Were you gonna stop at that stop sign or just roll through it? Oh, okay. You got four wheels on that pickup. I think we should use the pressure of the brake and start braking at the stop sign. Just a suggestion. See, I do like hitting up smaller coffee shops, mom and pop shops, one-offs. 
we just don't have a lot of them where I live. Or like for some reason, all the small shops taste the same. What, is, what are you guys all getting the same mix? Y'all roasting the same beans? Lean with it, rock with it. Lean with it, rock with it. I got a pizza last night. Oh my, I'll tell you my pizza story. Place closed at eight. I called 7.15 and I was like, okay, but by the time you make the pizza, bake the pizza and I get over there at like 7.50. I was like, you guys still making pizzas tonight or is it too late to order one? He's like, no, you're fine. I thought I got bigger than a 12 inch. So bigger than a 12 inch, I would probably been like a 14. I go, can I get a 14 inch chicken bacon ranch pizza? I love chicken bacon ranch pizzas. I personally like them with lettuce on it. My mouth is watering just thinking about it. It was a very good, spoiler alert, it was a very good pizza. Really blew me out of the water. I order the pizza, I go to pick it up. First of all, this is one of those locations where like, how do you get in the building? How do you get in the damn building? I can't find the door. Well, first of all, I couldn't find the parking lot. I was like, what side of the building do you park on? There's no lines, not a sign, not a hope, a clue, a prayer. I'm sitting here at the stoplight, staring at the place in the dark. And I'm like, how, where would I park? Should I just park as close to the building as I can possible and just hope that that is a spot? So then I start walking up to the doors. You know when a building has two doors, like mostly restaurants, they have two doors, but one of them is like, it is a door but it's blocked off. They lock the door. It's like they say like this is not an entrance or an exit Like please go to the other door. I walk up to the first door It looks like it's like in this like dining room waiting room area. It looks like it's blocked off There's no handle not a handle on the door not a push not a pull not a sign not a the hours weren't on there There were some random stickers and then there was this wooden bar not a pull bar like a, they, they, they literally tacked a wooden plank to the door I gotta make a fast decision. That can't be the door. So I just leave. I go to the next door and I'm like, okay, this door has a sign on top of it. That's gotta be it. That's my best bet. I walk to the door, same thing. No handle on the door. I'm like this. I look up, make eye contact with a guy sweeping right in front of the door. And I swear he didn't roll his eyes, but I could see it like in another lifetime, like in a pseudo world, he rolled his eyes put the broom down, turned his back to me, and then just walked away. So then I still had to figure out how to figure out the door. You couldn't have, what is, I wasn't waiting for you to move. I was trying to figure out the door, you know? Like, what are we doing? I saw your eyes twitch like they were trying to roll back in your head. And I was like, first of all, I'm not coming in as like a random person. I ordered, where's the down? You went on the wrong side. I was like, I ordered a pizza. I'm just picking it up. The work is already done. Still wasn't eight o'clock. I had like 15 minutes before it was eight o'clock. They're just cleaning up for the night and mine's already baked, cooked and ready to get picked up. Would you like payment for your for the pizza you made? So he like fake rolls his eyes. I was like, all right, chill. Cool, 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 cool. But he's still trying to figure out the door. Then I just go for it. I just pull it. What is this contraption? This building does not need a complicated door. This, this shouldn't be like this. So I just pull it. It works. Awesome. Great. Now I'm in. And then I say something. I didn't want him to think that I was staring him down, waiting for him to move out of my way. And I didn't know how to say it. I was like, that did not look like a door that you could enter. He just didn't say nothing. Gave, gave me nothing. I don't know what you're supposed to respond to that. Oh, you're right. That's a tricky one. That is, yeah, we should really put a sign there. I don't know. I mean, at this rate, get someone who works the door, like a bouncer. I'd pay two bucks just to get in if you if I didn't have to figure it out myself. And then he gave me this pizza and it was so small. He put the box down and I was like, did you have to put half of it in this box? Did you run out of the right size box? How big was this pizza? I want to, smaller than this damn table. It was, how big was the pizza? That's a horrible parking job. Go for it. You don't have a license plate on that car. I want to say the pizza was like the size of my hand. It looked like a nine inch pizza when I ordered a 14 and I have no idea how much I paid for it. I don't know if I paid the 14 price or the nine price. Never been here. Don't have the prices memorized. And I already made it awkward. So I just paid for it. And I was like, this is the smallest pizza. This pizza is not going to fill me up. It did. It did. And it was a delicious pizza made well, cooked to perfection, great ingredients. So my conclusion is, is that that's a good type of restaurant. Are the best restaurants are the ones where you have to jump through hoops and possibly a door just to get inside to get the food. So yeah. All right, I'm gonna go into this thrift store and see what kind of trouble we could stir up. I also have a, I have an amazing thing to show you guys once I get a coffee. Yo, I told you they always had more interesting stuff in there. They do. I bought this big green jacket. It's not like a jacket. It's like a, like a, it's like a windbreaker jacket for the rain. Like you can hear it's that type of material. It is like the stuff that they like football players wear on the sideline. It's like a big rain jacket, but it's got no sleeves. So it just buttons down the side. I just feel like you could wear that running around in the rain. Instead of getting your clothes wet, throw that on. Like a reusable poncho. So I bought that. Get back there. <laughs> Let me put some hand sanitizer. Look at the other stuff I found. My hair again. Ooh, and I need to shave my legs. Okay. okay. 
Man just hit me in the face. I did find a bookend that someone had written in Sharpie, the last name Gerber. And I thought it said Goober right away. Not that I would have bought if it would have said Goober. It just was written in Sharpie. I could do that to anything I own. Look at this sweatshirt, HVAC. If the ladies are getting hot, give me a call. I almost bought that. It, it, it probably would have fit me. <laughs> It's just such a random sweatshirt. I found a sign that said this bathroom is for singing. Oh, I could make that sign, but it's, it's a bit cute. This is a game called Alien Autopsy. It's for kids. It's like it's like the one or the, the what's that called? Where they go in with the pliers and they, emergency? No. And uh, 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 you're like trying to get the stuff out of them. Oh my God, they played it on Good Mythical Morning. <gasps> Alien Autopsy is, oh my, wait, is it different? Oh, you just go in blind? Oh, never mind. Maybe it's more fun. It's not like Operation. Maybe it's not like Operation. Okay, I just thought it was funny. The word autopsy for a children's game seems a little heavy. <laughs> Alien autopsy. I found this cup and there's a moose inside. There's a moose on the outside, but there's a moose inside the cup. Now this is a prime example. When I tell people they need to get a, th a talking piece in their house, something weird, kind of something that doesn't fit in the right place and you need to put it within the entrance of your house so that if you have someone over who's never been there before, it's a talking piece. They go, what the, why do you have that? What's that about? How did you acquire that? This is a talking piece. This is like a, li a metal lizard. It's pink and Blue. Looks like a Pepto-Bismo bottle. Had a baby with someone from the Blue Man Group. This is a can of Elmer's glue. I didn't know it came in a spray. Extremely flammable. Also, I'm, I went more up north than where I live and I'm still wearing the same outfits. I'm wearing a t-shirt, my shit kickers and shorts. These people are wearing coats, jackets, pants, and leggings. Fo can we focus up? Boyer is the company. They're butterscotch, smoothie, peanut butter cups. Why are we putting the name smoothie? Wow, these look like the rejects from the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Factory. What in the hell is this? Oh my gosh, save points for a t-shirt. <laughs> Uh, that, that looks like a crater. Hit this damn peanut butter cup. This looks like someone pulled the wrong lever at the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup factory. This looks like the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup that you left in your car at the bottom of your backpack by accident during the summer. Okay, it's so flaky. It just keeps falling apart. Instead of chocolate, it's butterscotch with peanut butter. It's actually really good. Did she just crash her car? <laughs> That's really good. I wish I had water or something in here. Now, I could get behind that. The peanut butter is not like the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup peanut butter, but it's good. These people just pulled up next to me and we're gonna be done filming. I'm gonna go get coffee and try and send these emails. Okay, I can't tell if there's anybody in this business right here staring at me talking to myself, but it looks like it's close. We're gonna go for it. I got the coffee and I got my emails. I found a place that has fast Wi-Fi. I never thought I'd see the day. I feel like a weight's been lifted off my shoulder. It's a place with fast Wi-Fi, faster than I've been finding. There's a couple places to see and I saw a sign that says that there's more seating upstairs. So hopefully this place stays open. So I got somewhere to work in the future. I got a pistachio coffee. I think it's called the wizard. It's good. It's not the, it's not like the best coffee I've ever had. It's not the worst coffee I've ever had. That's not the point. The point is that it's not the same stuff I've been drinking. A little changed up a little bit. The other important thing, look at that little plain cup right there. Needs just a little bit of some, some Christine Snaps branding. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? Listen, most of the coffee cups I get are bigger than this one, but it's a little co it's a little coffee sleeve. Oh my gosh. And, wait, is it reversible? And it opens up probably to, for washing purposes. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Uh, My friend Steven, friend of the channel, his mom made it for me. That's so nice. I know she watches the video sometimes too. Thank you so much, Steven's mom. I'm, I'm not going to shout your name out because, you know, safety purposes, but thank you so much. That's, that's so thoughtful. She literally made me my own branding. Christine Snaps. She made me another one that's like thinner um, and it's reversible and it says Christine Snaps Coffee Runs specifically for our videos. Oh, I'm doing this angled parking. This isn't good. I really got to watch. I don't see anybody coming. I can't see y'all. I'll make it if I swing it. Here we go. If I swing it. He gave them to me at the bar and I was drinking a beer. So I put it on my beer <laughs> and I tried to send her a picture, but I think my, I don't know, my service was down. So I have buy it on a beer. They're very multi-purposes. So nice. So thoughtful. So unexpected. He's like, I have something for you for my mom. And I was like, on a Thursday? Also, it's not fair that the person delivering the gift gets all the joy. They got to see my face light up. I said, oh, for me. I see my name on it. I'm like, oh, it's customized. <laughs> He's like, yeah. <laughs> he had nothing to do with it. <laughs> okay, did you also know that because, I guess back in the day is maybe the phrase. Back in the day, I said it used to be like a morgue or a funeral home. Is, it the, is there a difference? Is the funeral home where they have the ceremony and the morgue is where they keep the bodies and like treat the bodies? 
aren't they kind of one in the same? Like, you're not going to have the morgue on one side of town and the, and the funeral home on the other side of town. They're probably going to be sisters. The buildings are going to be, like, sitting next to each other. But I was reading the article they had on the wall. The family used to have a, a furniture store. And then it goes, as you know, back in the day, fear furniture stores were always closely related to or always, like, expanded into funeral homes and morgues because they make they can make the caskets. But I was like, I no, I didn't connect those dots. <laughs> That's like saying they put all the coffee shops next to the dentist offices because coffee stains your teeth. I didn't connect the dots. I didn't get it. I was like, oh, that's okay. People come in. They're like, are you here to put a, buy a couch or buy a casket? Who's laying down and for how long? Are you laying down for a nap or for the big sleep? Which one is it? That's, that's crazy. <laughs> I have to edit a bunch. I'm going to sip on this coffee, my little coffee fuel, my little my little thing on it. This is cute. I'm going to keep these in my car. I have ones for my office now, and then I have ones for my car. It's actually making my coffee taste better. I don't know how she does it, but it's making my coffee taste better.